Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to take a look at the Argon IR remote for the Argon 1 version 2 and M.2 case. This $10 remote has been very hard to find, but I just so happened to come across one on Amazon, so went ahead and ordered it. Let's check it out right now. If you go to wagnerstechtalk.com and then go to the guide section and hover over the Raspberry Pi and select the Argon 1, you'll come to this page which has all the links to everything that I'm going to show in this video. If you need help setting up your Argon 1 version 2, check out this video. The IR remote is sold out on the Argon 40 website. However, I did go to Amazon and happened to find one there, so I went ahead and picked it up for 10 bucks. If you decide to pick one up, just make sure you have the version 2 case with the full-size HDMI ports, as well as the infrared input. That said, let's go ahead and get it set up. There's nothing particularly special about the packaging, but I do want to mention that on the box it does specifically state that you need the Argon 1 version 2 or the Argon 1 M.2 case for this to work. It won't work on the version 1 case that came out in 2020. Now we'll take a quick look at the manual and I want you to see exactly how little information is on here. It briefly mentions the PyOS installation, but clearly focuses most of the attention on Libre Elect, and for a good reason, and that's because you can't do much in PyOS with this remote. It's laid out very similar to the Fire TV remote. It's got your up, down, volume, your back, your home, your menu, and your navigation buttons, power button, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Very basic. When it comes to the batteries, you're going to need two AAA batteries. But if you look at their website, it tells you two AA, which is obviously incorrect. We'll take a quick look at my setup here. We've got the case, the official Raspberry Pi keyboard and mouse, and of course the remote. I will be using pin light for this setup. Basically, Pinlight is a multi-boot utility that will allow selecting from multiple operating systems. I have already pre-installed PyOS 32 and 64-bit, as well as Libre Elect. And I will have a video on Pinlight soon, so if you're interested, please subscribe and click the bell notification so you don't miss it. So I've got a fresh install of PyOS 32-bit. We'll go to the web page that was shown earlier, and we'll go ahead and select the command for installing the Argon 1 scripts. So we'll just select it, copy it, open a terminal window, paste the command into the terminal, and press enter. The command will not only install the fan control software, but also the Argon 1 IR utility. Once the installation is completed, you can simply select the Argon 1-IR command and copy it to the clipboard and paste it into a terminal window. Alternatively, you could just type in Argon 1-IR and press enter. Now it's going to ask you to press Y to continue, so go ahead and press Y and enter. And then it's going to ask you to configure the remote on and off, so we'll press 1 and enter. Next it'll ask if you want to use the Argon 1 remote for the on off button, so we'll press 1 and enter. And again we'll type in the Argon 1-IR command, say yes again, select option number 2 for configure other remote buttons and then press Y and then enter and then we'll select the option to use Argon remote buttons so we'll press 1 and enter again and it will download the libraries for the infrared receiver. Once it's complete then you will need to go ahead and reboot and here I've gone ahead and started up one of my videos so we can see how the volume controls work. So the volume up and down does work during media playback. However, none of the other buttons seem to do anything. There's no rewind, no fast forward, no pause, nothing. Except for the power. The power does work. We'll go ahead and press the power button and notice something interesting. I would have expected a safe shutdown at this point, but unfortunately it just immediately kills power to the case. Hopefully there will be an update for this script in the near future. Now let's see how the remote performs in Libre Elect. Let's take a look at the installation for Libre Elect. 
First, you want to click the add-on tool download from my website. If you go by the manual and type it exactly as you see it, don't use uppercase A and R for argonremote.zip. Either the manual is wrong or the upload is wrong. Anyway, we'll go ahead and copy it and paste it to a USB stick, which will make it easier to install to Libre Elect running Kodi. From here, we'll go ahead and go into Pinlight and select Libre Elect up one. There we go. And go ahead and boot it up. And now we'll go ahead and plug in that USB stick that has the argon remote.zip on the root of the USB stick. From there, we'll go to the add-ons tab. I'll switch over to video capture so you can get a better look. We'll go over to the install from zip file. And then we'll go to settings to allow unknown sources. And go ahead and check the checkbox there. Go ahead and click yes. And then once we do that, we will be able to go back to the add-ons and select install from zip file once again. And then scroll down till you find your USB stick. Select the argon remote.zip. And now you can see up here in the upper right that the add-on was installed successfully. Great! There are some additional options that you may want to play around with. If you go to My Add-ons and then go over to Program Add-ons, you'll see the Argon 40 device configuration. If you select that and then click the Configure button, you can adjust some of the settings for the Argon 1 version 2, such as the fan settings, leaving the fan on all the time, and various other configurations, which it does give you a nice UI here, but you won't see anything for the remote. That's because you don't need to do anything. We're just going to reboot. You do have to reboot one time, and then after that, you can fully navigate using your Argon One IR remote. Very cool. I'll go ahead and load up a live stream from NASA under Cody. All the buttons work just fine. All of them are functional. Also, a safe shutdown is performed when you power off the Argon One. I also tested the remote from about 20 feet away and it worked just fine as well. One more thing I want to make you aware of in Twister OS, Kodi is pre-installed, so I thought I'd go ahead and try it there. And the same process did not work under Kodi under Twister OS. It would fail to install the add-on. If I find a solution in the future, I will update the guide. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful. In my opinion, if you want to use your Argon 1 version 2 with Libre Elect, this might be a very good option for you. However, if you have no interest in that and you want to use it with Pi OS, Twister OS, or any other operating systems, then uh, it might be a pass. So it's really up to you. I just wanted to show you how it works, what I've figured out so far, Keep an eye on the guide if there's any additional information, I will add it there. Or if I get any tips from anyone who sees this video, I will also add it there as well. Please do me a favor, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk in the future, keep in mind we got pin light coming pretty soon. So if you want to see that, be sure and click the subscribe. And with that, I will talk to you very soon.